Amy Spangle said, while breastfeeding might not be the correct choice for every parent, it's always the best choice for the baby. Breastfeeding of an infant with breast milk directly from the human breast in the form of lactation. Breast milk, breastfeeding starts well before the birth of the baby or child. From the moment of conception, there are hormonal signals that are sent to the mother's brain signaling her breast to start producing colostrum. Colostrum has also been called first milk, liquid gold, or a moon booster. Colostrum is a clear, sticky, thick liquid that is pr produced by the mammary glands after the first days of the baby's birth. Colostrum is rich in proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals, and the benefits of colostrum are enormous. The colostrum is produced in very small amounts the first four days after birth. Then it's replaced with a thinner, lighter liquid, which is breast milk. The mother's breast starts producing colostrum the last months of pregnancy. However, it is normal to start producing it the day your baby is born. During the pre pregnancy process, the mother's breast will swell and the nipple will become darker in preparation for breastfeeding. While the baby is born, the, the mother's breast is already having the baby's born already having the instinct to breastfeed. When the baby is placed on the nipple, he or she will begin to suckle, and which will then produce a letdown. A letdown is a tingling feeling in the breast of the mother that will usually feel full and slightly larger. During a letdown, the breast milk flows into the baby's mouth at a fast rate with minimal effort from the baby with sucking. Breastfeeding a newborn generally will take anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes or until the baby falls asleep. Breast milk is loaded with DHA and omega-3s. Breast milk also has healthy support and supply of rich cholesterol and fat digesting enzymes. It's also abundant in protein and carbohydrates, fats and vitamins and minerals and immune boosters. Breast milk is a thick and creamy texture. There are many unbelievable benefits to breastfeeding a baby or a child. Some of these benefits include the breast milk keeping a pace with the infant's individual growth and changing nutritional needs, a reduced risk of chronic constipation, colic, and other stomach upsets, reducing the risk of childhood diabetes, protection against ear infections, respiratory illness, bronchitis, kidney infections, protection against allergies, asthma, and eczema. Breastfeeding also aids in the fake facial structure development, enhanced speech, straighter teeth, bone, IQ, bone density, enhancing, enhances vision. Breastfeeding babies have higher IQs, reduced risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Breastfed babies also reach their monthly milestones at a faster rate. Breastfeeding also offers additional benefits to the mother. These benefits are Reduced risk of breast, ovarian, cervical, and endometrial cancers. A reduced risk of anema. Protection against osteoporosis or hip fracture later in life. Helps the mother's body return to pre-pregnancy weight sooner and faster. Helps delay the return of fertility and to space the following pregnancies. Some of the benefits to the mother includes development of special emotional relationship bonding with the child, helps the uterus contract after birth to control postpartum depleting, and lesser risk of postpartum depression. Some of the minimal costs associated with breastfeeding is, in fact, breastfeeding helps save money by being a tax deductible. Breast milk is free. So this reduces or eliminates the cost for formula feeding, which can be upwards of a couple thousand dollars a year. Breastfeeding helps boost your child's immune system, so that means the baby will be sick less, and which helps aid for a doctor's visits. Although breastfeeding is always best for your baby, there are some situations which a mother should not breastfeed. Some of these reasons are, if the mother has, is infected with HIV, because it increases the risk of transmission of the HIV virus to the infant. While women using illicit drugs should not breastfeed because drugs can be passed through the mother's milk to the baby. The infants with, and children with certain metabolic diseases and women with infectious tuberculosis. In conclusion,
Clearly, breastfeeding has its benefits. It is clearly the most best and beneficial for health, growth, and development in your child. There is no set age to breastfeed a baby or child. Just breastfeed for any extended period of time that helps the baby in any way. No matter the size or shape or color of a mother's breast, breastfeeding is one of the most natural beneficial acts a mother can do for her child. Breast milk remains the one and most natural, complete and complex nutrition for humans.